This faceless channel has only two videos and in the first 24 hours they made over $1,000 and this faceless channel only has four videos and their first video has over half a million views. So in this step-by-step -step tutorial, we will be going over how to go from zero to your first $1,000 as fast as possible without recording anything and without showing your face. My name is Dave Nick and just so you know that I know what I'm talking about here, here are a few channels that I run. This one did over $19,000 from ad revenue, but this channel got over a hundred million views, unfortunately zero dollars in ad revenue, but we did monetize it in a different way. This one made over three point seven thousand dollars from ad revenue. This one got me over two hundred and forty million views. This channel one thousand dollars a month because we stopped posting for quite a while, but in the last three hundred and sixty five days the twenty five thousand dollars and the lifetime of this channel is about one hundred and seventy two thousand dollars also just from ad revenue alone. Then I also have this channel with only $300 in the last 28 days. The last 365 days is $41,000 and the lifetime of this channel in particular is actually over a million dollars in that revenue. Let it just load. So $1,100,000. I also have this one that is doing about $4,000 a month. The last 365 days, $45,000 and lifetime on this one is about 300, I believe about $317,000. And I also have this channel with over $100 a month and the lifetime of this channel in particular is about $92,000. I also have this one that is doing about $11,000 a month just from ad revenue and the lifetime of this channel is about I believe around $600,000 just from ad revenue. And the reason I'm showing you this is to prove that I kind of know what I'm talking about and I'm doing this myself as well. And here are also a few different channels in different niches that managed to make their first $1,000 from their very first video without showing their face like this one. They only have three videos but the first one posted a month ago already has a hundred thousand views and you can see it's a faceless video also this one over here a hundred thousand views in their very first video they only have two videos on the channel this one as well their very first video got a million views and they only got six videos on the channel and this one also they started out a month ago and already three hundred thousand views in the very first video and this one started two months ago and already a hundred thousand views in their very first faceless video and we know that this works pretty well because they also get messages from you guys who get results with YouTube animation for example David shared that he made over 1,000 pounds, which is about $1,000 per month from his faceless YouTube channel. Now, in order to actually maximize your earnings, you have to choose a high CPM niche. Now, CPM is a metric that represents the amount of money that advertisers will spend to put ads in front of your videos. And RPM is how much you actually get paid for 1,000 views, which is revenue per mil. So CPM varies across different niches. It varies depending on the age of your audience. If your videos are only being watched by kids, then advertisers will not spend that much money to put ads because obviously those kids can't really spend much money on the products that they're selling. Location, then advertisers will spend more, therefore driving your CPM cost through the roof and making you more money. If you make cat videos, then those are mostly going to make $2 per 1,000 views. But if you make videos about wedding event planning, then they know that those people have more money to spend, so your RPM might be $20 per 1,000 views, which is a massive difference. Then the niche and content type, again, if you make tech and gadgets, health and fitness, finance and investing, real estate videos, those usually have higher, higher RPM. Content quality, the longer videos you make, the higher chances of making more money you will make as long as the quality of those videos is high. And seasonality and trends also change. For example, during summer in Europe, my CPM goes up. And also during the Q4, which is around the, in December, around Christmas and New Year's Eve, because people are spending more money for gifts and whatnot, advertisers spend more money. Now, the platform that I use for stock footage for these YouTube automation channels is Storyblocks because Storyblocks just offers unlimited downloads of all sorts of different high quality media for just one subscription cost. They have a stock footage library. They also have a lot of music. They have templates, sound effects, images, and so on. They also have a lot of motion graphic templates that you can easily use. And you can just choose from thousands of pre-made videos that you can use. Also, the venture Resort Solve templates are also available inside of Storyblocks library. And yes, you are actually allowed to monetize this content from Storyblocks because they keep you legally covered with a clear cut licensing and coverage so you can just focus on creating videos. So anything you download from Storyblocks is 100% royalty free. You can head to Storyblocks by clicking the first link in the description box down below or go to storyblocks.com slash Dave Nick. That's storyblocks.com slash Dave Nick. And once you do that, you can just click on the join now 
top button. And as you log in, you can just start searching for footage, stock videos, stock photos, templates, motion graphics, and all sorts of different things. If I need, for example, ocean video, all I gotta do is just type in ocean, then find the video that suits my needs. Let's say this one, for example, click on the download button and then just select the format that I want. Let's say I want MP4, I'll just click on the download button and it's gonna be onto my computer. Okay, but now how do you increase your RPM so you can make more money with less views? Well, there's three different ways to do this. First of all, you would make longer videos so you can put more ads. Secondly, you would choose the right niche. And third, you would play around with different keywords within that niche. To make sure that my videos actually go viral and get views, I always put them through this checklist and you can use it for yourself. I'm gonna link it probably for completely free in the description box down below, or you can just pause the video and then you can just go through the checklist whenever you make a video. So you just wanna go through these questions. There's three of them that you would ask yourself before publishing the video or before even creating the video. And that's really gonna help you create something high quality that actually gets views and gets results. If you're gonna be using ChatGPT to write scripts, make sure that you do have a really, really good prompt. So for example, I'm gonna use this one over here. I would then go to ChatGPT. I would then paste the topic of my video or even just the entire title of the YouTube video that I want to create. But just make sure that it follows this formula where you start off with a hook. You never start your videos, but hey, welcome to my channel. My channel is all about, no one really cares. People came because you gave them a title and thumbnail that they were interested in. So you wanna have a really good hook. Here are some example hooks that you could use at the beginning. So you just wanna make sure that you are grabbing someone's attention when they're scrolling on YouTube. Then you have a quick intro, you provide value, you over deliver, and then at the end, you don't signal that the video is ending. You just link them to the next one so that you can get them to watch as many videos as possible, which is ultimately gonna allow you to make more money from your faceless channel. Now, there are also some GPTs inside of ChatGPT that you could leverage to write YouTube scripts, to write YouTube thumbnails and all sorts of different things, but I don't really recommend them because it's never gonna be as high quality as if you actually hire an actual script writer from a freelancing platform or you write those scripts yourself. For the voiceover of these videos, I personally just like to use 11 labs. I used to pay for actual voiceover artists in the past, but this AI tool now really has high quality and realistic sounding voiceovers. So you don't necessarily have to spend like $100 per voiceover. You can just come to here and it's literally gonna cost less than a dollar. You basically just paste your script here. You select the voice and just click on generate speech and then you will have a voiceover to use. It's gonna take a few seconds, but once it's done, you can just download it and you can put it into your video editing software, which I'm gonna show you how to do for free. Yeah, so here I have some whispering voiceover, which is which sounds pretty unique. So I'm just gonna wait for it to fully generate. And in the meanwhile, I'm just gonna find the footage that I need. So this entire video that I'm trying to create has some healthy food that is being mentioned. So I'm just gonna search for healthy food instead of story blocks. I'm just gonna find what I need. Let's say for instance, I need this one over here, click to download it. I like to do it as if I'm shopping. So I go to story blocks and then I go through the script. I find all of the footage that I need. I download it all at once so that I can then just focus on editing. So I'm just gonna download as many of these. If I'm mentioning avocados, I could just search for avocado and then I can download that. And once the voiceover is done, I will also download the voiceover. And then I will edit this inside of CapCut for completely free. You can also use any other video editing software of your choice. I'm just showing this one because it's the most simple one and it is available on the actual website. So you don't have to download or install anything. Then upload all of the files from Storyblocks and 11 Labs, just like this. And you can start editing. I also recommend adding some filters so that it's not just stock footage because it looks kind of lazy and I also recommend changing scenes every every three seconds especially in the intro because the attention spans in 2024 are not the best so people are not really going to focus if you just leave some random stock footage for too long so you want to make sure that it's always engaging there's always something happening on the screen and I would even add some transitions from the left hand side because there's some really cool ones if I put this one it's going to look pretty badass I'm also going to upload the voiceover so this is going to be the voiceover for the filters and effects I just go here on the left hand side. I can then choose one of these or just go to the filter section and then select, for example, this one or whatever, just something that adds uniqueness to my videos. And then for the captions, I just click on auto captions on the left side. I click on generate because this is really gonna help keep people's attention if there are always some captions on the screen. So I click on animation, then I basically just select the spring animation. Then you can adjust the font and you can make it slightly bigger. So perhaps I'm gonna do 15 and I'm also gonna place it in the center. So let's actually go through it and see how fast that goes. So it goes in a little bit details. So we'll just have to actually listen to the voiceover to see what stock footage to put, but it's actually gonna make some sense after a while. Then once you're done fully editing the video, just click on export and either export directly to YouTube or just first download it to your device and then upload it. Now for the actual YouTube thumbnail,
thumbnail, I just like to combine an AI with Photoshop. So the way I would do it is I would perhaps go to this Leonardo AI tool, which is like completely free. And then depending on the thing that I need to put in my YouTube thumbnail, I would just go to the image generation side. So I go to the left hand side, then I type in a prompt. In this case, the preset is going to be stock photography. And I just need an avocado close up shot ultra realistic. And then I'm going to generate it. Now, I honestly just need one image. And once it's generated, I just choose one of them. I then download this image with one press of a button. I then head over to canva.com. Then you can search for YouTube thumbnail templates. Let's say I really like this template over here. I will then remove the element. I will go to upload files. I would simply just upload my avocado, but then I would crop it because I only need one avocado element here. So I'm just going to crop it until we have only one avocado. And then I will click on background remover. So it's going to remove the background. It's just going to leave the avocado, which is going to look something like this. If that doesn't fit properly because it left the other parts, well, I can simply just go to the stock photos or videos and just find one avocado there. And then here it is. And I'm just going to add something that would really complement my title. And because here I'm just going to be talking about long longevity foods, then I'm going to add some uh, headline over here, which is going to grab people's attention. And this is how my title and uh, my thumbnail is actually going to look like. Once you have the thumbnail, click on share, click download and download as a PNG file. Now, besides ad revenue, you can add other revenue sources to get their first $1,000 as fast as possible. I've seen a lot of people sell school communities and these are digital products that, for example, this person is using to make over $36,000 a month. And if you go to the all time high earners, you can see that this guy makes like $100,000 a month, $100,000 a month, $90,000 a month and so on and so forth. And there are some AI faceless YouTube automation channels that are selling their communities and making tens of thousands of dollars. You could also get some brand deals if your first video goes viral, if you follow that checklist that I previously shared and it starts getting views and you can ask them to sponsor your next video. And this is the template you can use. You can just change the variables in the brackets and you could also add some affiliate marketing as well. Like this is one of the platforms that I use for my faceless YouTube automation channels. And so far with this platform in particular, we did over half a million dollars in sales.